good, how are you? I'm really good, thank you. Good. So this is our little video podcast that we do once a week where we chat about all sort of design, web design, small biz topics. Oh, jam. What are we talking about today, babe? So we are going to be discussing to whether you should specialise or generalise and all mm. that entails. The kind of pros and cons of each. Yeah. 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 And like when you should focus on one thing maybe and when yeah. you should kind of open it up a bit. So before we kick off, mm. what, what do you consider yourself? Specialist or generalist? Uh, do you know what? It depends on how I feel. Okay. I like that. Um, Because just how, yeah, I've, I've over time, I've learned not to fight it. And that sometimes I can get very obsessed mm-hmm. about a new tool, a new topic, a new thing. Yeah. Delve really deep into it. We'll lose hours and track yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. And then kind of specialise in that. And then something happens, not sure what. And I go, oh, okay, I want to do oil painting. I want to do, I want to do, you know, you want to animation. Do I want to, yeah, I suddenly like take it right back out. Um, yeah. And I think that works for me and and also when I say generalise it's often still very like code heavy computer heavy so there's not like there's crossovers and so actually I find learning different sections of lots of different bits that interest me Mm. I can see a lot of crossovers I mean especially in coding in general yeah is there's you know the techniques underneath all the different languages are the same you know yeah. so it kind of helps in that way what about you yeah I, so I, I, I mean I'm a generalist yes. massively I like to jack of all trades it I struggle with specializing so like mm-hmm. I know my shit in like certain areas yeah. but if somebody asked me to like only ever focus on Squarespace websites for like the rest of my life yeah I would really struggle with that. Like but I you struggle to... with that also because you'd hate people telling you what to do. Oh, so that is the other thing. Who do they are? <laughs> My boss? No. <laughs> they don't have one, baby. That's what this is. I know. Can you cope with one? Yeah. So... <laughs> I don't want to do what you tell me. I don't know. But I was going to do that anyway, but now that you've told me. I don't want to do it. Yeah. No. But, um, but yeah, no, I think you are. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I prefer, and like, I really love people who are like super zoomed in. So, so yeah. specialist. I love, like, the knowledge that those people yeah, have yeah. is mind-blowing. Mm-hmm. And I'm always a little bit jealous of it, actually, because, you know, that is one of the drawbacks of generalism is that you know more different things. Yeah. But the kind of level of knowledge that you have on this was never going to be as deep as someone who, like, that's their that's their bag. That's yes. the only thing. I only do this one yeah. thing, and that's why I'm, you know, so good at it. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. just think it's incredible, but, um, yeah, I don't have the patience for it. No. And I think if you... If you are a specialist, I think you can get a lot more money out of it from a work sense because Definitely. you will know everything that you need to know. But, yeah. But in some aspects, I would say our business is specialised. You know, I do think, you know, we have said no to clients because they can't kind of like fit, you know, yeah. and what we make could easily be kind of obviously, you know, used by whoever, but we have a target audience and we yeah. really try and... No, yeah. you're totally right. Yeah, we're quite um, we're quite targeted, aren't we? I'd say we we yeah. know our we know our brand, we know our niche, we know our yeah. kind of yeah, we know what we like um, and what we're going for. So that definitely helps. Yes, yeah. So something that I would struggle with about being a specialist, I think, and I would like to hear from anybody who considers themselves like a real narrow specialist, is like, what's that variety of work like? I think mm. that when you are a bit more of a generalist, so I would say that you and I are like web design generalists. We yeah. have our area, but like we'll dabble, we'll dip a toe yeah. in all kinds of different things. Like we're not strict about the work that we do. And I find that really interesting and I find that really fun. Yes. Yeah. Do you think that there's other people maybe who do a bit more of a specialism thing that maybe that sounds a little bit overwhelming? They're like, yeah, but what a waste of time to like know. Yes. And I think, uh, I mean, again, I can only you know, my experiences in tech, so speaking from mm, yeah, a tech okay. point of view, is there's lots of uh, people who kind of only work with a certain program language and or set of tools because that's what they know and that is where they feel comfortable, yeah. And if you ask them to try something else, it feels very, yeah, overwhelming to them. Whereas I've got this innate ability, which is good and bad in other cases, of I'll be like, I can probably work it out. Oh, I can probably, you. I've never touched this before, but I'm sure I can find a way. Yeah, have you, you know? seen that like um, TikTok trend? And I can't remember the girl's name, but she's like really popular. But she's like, I have that gene where it's like, how hard could it be? Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm not exactly. exactly. And then I yeah, get like, like halfway through stuff and I'm like, oh, really oh, hard. really hard. <laughs> but I have agreed to do this yeah. in the time limit. So <laughs> I'm going to just try and power up. 100%. No, yeah. I massively, massively get that. I feel like that as well. Um, I think another 
what I love about being a sort of generalist, really, like one of the big things is the wider variety of people that you get to work with. Yes. You yeah. don't get that as much. I wouldn't, like, you know, if you're, so you, I'll take it back to tech because I think that yeah. that's what you know, that's what I kind of know. But if you did like a very specific programming language in a specific kind of way, yeah. you're only ever going to deal with like the one type of client or customer or like, yeah, stakeholder that needs that stuff. Yeah, but in the next breath, you know, you're probably then more likely to do the talks and be mm-hmm. revered, and 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 it's easier to sell yourself as that person. You know, even I know people in like the tech world. They do SVG animations. Yeah. They are well known for this. They are. It, it is definitely easier to market yourself as a like a one line. I am a specialist, or you know, yeah, a, this is the thing that I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think that is easier rather than go. I will just create things online. Yeah, which I is hear you. What I do. Well, I mean, yeah. we, I mean, copywriting for our website though is always a nightmare because it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, we it's we know true. like what we do, but we're trying to sort of put it into a few words. Where you're like, I create colourful animated yeah. websites yeah. for. Not specifically women in this industry, but specifically women. But they can come from different industries (laughs) and they could, you know, oh my God. Yeah. And I think, like we've said this several times with our copy as well, because of our experience, um, you know, both of us years of experience Mm. working in tech and design, we know the terminology and it's very hard to remember that not everyone will know that terminology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I think that's probably another downfall of being a specialist is that you'll make a lot of assumptions about other people's knowledge. (gasps) Oh, well, they will know this. They will know this. And it's like, well, no, just because you do and you're in that little world and bubble. Yeah, this has been your career for 15 years. Like, this is the first time a lot of people are hearing about this. I used to work in like a, it was like a kind of hardware and printing store. Like, for like, High vis jackets and stuff Wicked. like that. Great and job. I remember my boss was like, "Well, obviously it'll be the T forty seven. Like these are like workmen's boots." And I just be sitting there like, "Okay, cool. Off- like, obviously, obviously. how did I not know it'd be the T forty seven because of the steel toe caps?" So I was like, "Okay, well, I'll go get them from the back then." Oh my I? god, <laughs> so, that's hilarious. Yeah, one of my one of my many jobs. Yeah, yeah. I lo- I love your little weird job history. Oh, that yeah. will come up through these videos. <laughs> I'm absolutely certain of it. I guess that's like. One of the big pros of being a specialist, though, is that, like, just easy niche. You don't yeah. really have to... You don't have to do any real refine. You know exactly what you do and exactly who you do it for. And you probably yeah. already have that network. Mm. But, again, I guess it depends on what you're specialising in. If it's mm. a... If it's a programming language, it's probably fine, but there's still... But if it's, like, a tool, you are... Like, say if you specialised in... Um, what was that old social platform that went down? Uh, MySpace? Yeah, it could be. They're still around. Mm, I mean, it's a different version of what Oh, maybe, okay. Yeah. But if you are putting, if you're a specialist in an app or tool that you don't own, yeah. if they make big changes, you're suddenly not. If they yeah. go down, you're putting a lot. I mean, this is what we've said a lot about putting why you're having your own like, one basket. Yeah. And this is why, you know, you should have your own website because. Yeah, the like Facebook pages and stuff like that is is good to get it out there. But if they go down, if their servers are down, if they change all their rules, and you mm. you lose those customers. Yeah, I mean it doesn't belong them. to you. No, you yeah. don't have you any access anything. to that information. Yeah. I'll never forget, and this was um, when I was freelancing before under a different name, like before me and you had, had got together to do Lucky Night. It was never a before me. It was never. How before dare time. you talk about the before me? <laughs> We were still friends. We were still friends. No, because we were talking like six years ago, so we were definitely still mates. Um, but I followed an account, and this woman had like 12,000 Instagram followers. She had like such a massive space, and she got hacked. Yeah. And like, she just had to start an account for fresh. Yeah. It took her like six years to build. She had no website. She had nothing else. Because no. she was always like, well, like, she used to like preach it online. She was like, yeah, you know, they're expensive and they're fuzzy, and you don't really need one. And I was kind of strictly doing graphic design then, not yeah. web design. So I was like, wow, well, whatever. Yeah, yeah, and then you lose it all. Yeah, and and you've got you've got nothing. She can't send out an email to say, "Oh, no. hi, I've been hacked. Don't no. follow it. Don't." She just has to try and like, like, remember enough people that she could and, and try and get through to them and be like, "I promise you, I am the yeah." That's what I mean. You're it putting a lot into a uh, another company and yeah. another company's rules, and and who knows when they could get cancelled because of anything. Isn't it? God, yeah. I think um, I think that covers everything. I I still think. For me, because of my attention span yeah. and my 
We, me, you and I are quite similar. We like to learn different things. Yeah. We like to kind of try new stuff out. I totally get that if you are not that kind of person and actually you really like to be able to just know something inside out, back yeah. to front, totally understand why you want to be a specialist. But for yeah. me, journalism all the way. Yeah. No, for, for, for me and for the stuff we do and, mm. and it helps us keep current-ish. Ooh. Current. Ooh, current. We try. There's a lot of new stuff, isn't there? So it's very hard to... Oh, God, yeah. I mean, going. yeah. Especially with, like, trends, I guess, in design world as well, isn't it? It's... I ignore them. Yeah. That could be a podcast yeah. for another day. But, um, yeah, I think if you're basing your entire design industry, or, like, design industry, like, your design practice on trends and fashionable stuff... Yeah. You're just asking for you trouble, a, Yeah. You're asking for trouble. You can have a bad time. <laughs> right, well, I love you very much. Cheers, babe. Bye. That was fun.